talking baseball. The man and Bobby Fella, the scooter, the barber, and the nuke. Welcome back to the Jack of the Truth. It is everyone's favorite segment of the week, the Jack of All Trades. Terry's been kind enough to stick around and help us out, uh, which will be good. Now there's... I'll grace my presence here. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so we've been getting tons of email. We appreciate it so much. Uh, one of the emails is from our friend James at NYU. And uh, James asked if we would do an NBA preview and talk about Jeremy Lin, the Asian uh, point guard from Harvard. Um, I think he's on Golden State. Uh, so, yeah, is that something we're, we're going to do, Jackal? No, we're not. <laughs> I love you, James. You know, I love you, Korean friend, but uh, no, we're not. We're not going to be talking about that. We're not going to be about, oh, you want some rice? <laughs> no, we're not going to be talking about that either, James. <laughs> We're not. Love you, but we're not, man. James, just because you're a smart and Asian doesn't even talk about every smart and Asian person who makes it to the pro athletes. When we get a little bit into more basketball, then we will. Yeah, we might. We, might, we might come back to it. If it comes up. I do love Asians, though. <laughs> Alright, uh, of course this week is the big return of Ben Roethlisberger. Um, ben! Right, too. He, they're playing against uh, Cleveland. It's going to be a massacre. Poor Colt McCoy. Um, so guys, do you think Ben Roethlisberger, he served his time, we should forgive him? Do you think he should be still suspended, or, uh, especially with the Brett Favre, do you think that's something people should be suspended for, the personal life? Um, I guess I'll go first. Um, he supposedly got accused of raping two women. Come on, the first time? Alright, maybe. But still, you stood out there over 1 o'clock in the morning, at a party, come on. You were in the bathroom with a chick. You know, something's going on over there. All of a sudden, the camera disappeared and everything like that. One, he's Big Ben because he plays in the NFL. Oh, we're going to look the other way around. He, he's Ben. He's not Big Ben, and that's who he thinks he is. He needs to get that out of his mind. I, I have no idea what any of that meant out for the Jackals, so... No, he is. He should be in prison getting raped right now. Instead of going in the NFL just because, one, white. I, I don't want to say this, but really because he's white. Michael Vick, yeah, he went to prison and everything like that. And then any, everything he does now, everyone questions Michael Vick. Terry, can you bring some sanity back to this conversation? Well, unlike the Jackal, I disagree. I think Big Ben is Big Ben. I think uh, I think the six weeks, what is it, six weeks he had? Uh, six weeks? Yeah, four weeks. Four, four weeks games. suspension? Four games. Um, I, I, I think it served him well. I mean, if you listen to some of the interviews he gave before the suspension, I think, I think it really hit home that, uh, you know, I think he learned his lesson. You know, he's had a lot of incidents. You know, he raped two girls, apparently. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, sorry. He's uh, gotten a motorcycle accident. I don't know if you guys remember that. So, yeah. you know, the guy likes to live life dangerously, but I think realizing, you know, something like this happening, he's uh, he is a professional athlete. People watch him. So I think this hit him home. And, um, you know, go Big Ben. He looked good in preseason, so. And kudos to the Steelers for going 3-1 and without him. Yeah, really. And then you go against Colt McCoy. Welcome to the NFL, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's change from football to baseball. Of course, the ALCS begins tonight, or last night, if you're watching on Saturday. And the NLCS begins tomorrow. Um, who do you guys think are going to make to the World Series? And how many games? Um, I think the Yankees are going to beat the Rangers. Yeah. And uh, five. And then I think five. Phillies. I think Phillies pretty much are going to sweep the Giants. Giants have a good pitch staff, but their inner staff is not good enough. Phillies, their inner staff is just too well. When Jimmy Rollins is hitting lineup, pitching staff, but all right. Uh, yes. <laughs> thank you, Harry. Thank you You're for on. making that mistake. When you have Jimmy Hawkins <laughs> bad like eight, something's going on. You know that's good, off season. You know that's a good te uh, team. You know that. That's sorry, Giants. You're gonna lose. Don't have Barry Bonds anymore. Don't have steroids. Well, maybe you do have steroids. You know you are the Giants, but you know you're not winning. You don't have a big, strong <laughs> black person there. Oh, sorry, you lose coming. Sorry. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the first letter from the NWC. Yeah, exactly. So, um, go ahead. by the way, the Giants are one of the smallest teams uh, in Major League Baseball, so I don't think steroids is a problem. No, um, steroids is not a problem. They do have the best catcher in baseball right now, besides Maurer in the playoffs, I would say. Um, I, I'm going to pick an upset. I, I think the key to the success of the Giants winning this series is not Tim Lincecum. I think it's C.J. Wilson. It's the Rangers pitcher. No, oh, no, uh, who's the second guy from that? Matt Cain. Matt Cain, I yeah, think it's Matt Cain. You know, you know, Linscombe's going to give you a solid start. And Jonathan Sanchez looks really good. Jonathan Sanchez, Jonathan Sanchez. Oh, he also looked well. And sorry, the Yankees are going to win, I think, five games also with Jackal. And like I said, C.J. Wilson, sorry, the pitcher for the Rangers, 
he is uh, the key to success. We know Cliff Lee's going to come out there. We know he's going to throw a great game. You know he's going to get ahead with his curveball and his fastball. But C.J. Wilson, he's a rookie. He pitched well this year. He got 15 wins, 200-plus 200, 200 innings. You know, the guy can bring it. If the, uh, the keys for the Yankees, if they, can, if they can get to him early, which they normally do to good pitchers, and they, you know, withstand a few innings, if they can withstand that and they can put some runs together, you know, they're gonna have a good. They're gonna have a good series against them. I'm gonna say the Yankees in six. I think they uh, C J Wilson wins both his starts, and I think Cliff Lee wins his. Okay. I'll make a point. C J Wilson is not rookie. Well, that means C J Wilson will pitch twice. You, you see him losing the second game. Yeah, uh, that's how okay. C J Wilson will split his starts, and uh, Cliff Lee will win his. If it goes seven, though, the Rangers obviously have the advantage because Cliff Lee is gonna go twice. Cliff Lee to pitch games. I don't know, man. C C C C is not gonna win. win. Cliff Lee, that's it. C J Wilson was a closer when he first came in the league. Then went back in the, in the middle of the league. Fear the beer, that's all I'm saying. And then, Fear he, became, the then he became a starter and his first year starting. <laughs> and to start all those innings, and he's never done that before in his career, it's going to wear down. Well, it, it, it didn't worry him, man. He threw 200 plus innings. All right, we, we need to stop talking about this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, again, this week we're going to do Jets and Giants. Next week, Jets are off, so we won't talk about them uh, next week. But uh, Jets play, go into Denver to play at Mile High Stadium after a very tough game. I guess the Vikings, that might have a huge effect on them, and then, well, then the Giants play the Lions, so man, there's not much to say about that game. But there's a lot to say about that game. Jackal, how do you feel about the games? Who's coming out? Both New York teams winning, losing. What do you think? Both New York teams are going to win. The Giants are going to beat Detroit. Come on. Detroit, you did good last week. Your defense did fine. You scored like 48 points, whatever, in the 40s, but you suck. Sorry. And, you know, Sean Hale, you're not going to win. Sorry. And you're running. <laughs> you're white. Why are you running? <laughs> and then um, the Jets. Revis is out. I you know that, that would hurt them, but Denver, you don't have a running game right now. I think No Sean might be coming back. His first game after the first week. But No Sean's on his fantasy team. So. <laughs> yeah, he is on my fantasy team. I love him. Uh, but uh, no, Jets are just playing too well right now. No one can cover uh, Keller right now. A linebacker can't cover him. A corner, and then you're going to leave Edwards open at home. So, you know what? Jody Sanchez. Should be cutting the grass right now, but he's going to uh, win the game. Love the stash, baby. Terry, Terry, how do you feel about the game? All right, well, with the Giants, you know, the key to success is covering Calvin Johnson. Like every other team's doing, they're just doing the cover, too. Just double coverage Calvin Johnson, and he pretty much won that game. Um, as much as I hate it, he was one of my top picks on my fantasy team. And he still gets his numbers. He still gets he nice numbers, numbers, but literally there is nothing else on the lines as a right. threat. Right. Okay, that said, we know the Giants are going to win that. Secondly, the Jets. Let's see. Um... They are losing Grievous, but I don't know if you guys watched the game last week. Crow Marty did a great job against Randy Moss. Incredible. Um, incredible job. I mean, the guy was thrown to about ten times. You know, made like one reception. Come on now. I mean, Crow Marty. I mean, yes, they picked up Crow Marty because he's a good cornerback, but he never had to get plays when he was at San Diego because he was a Grievous. Right. So they can win without him. Like the Jackal said, Denver doesn't really have a threat besides that. So clean sweep for both Giants teams this week. Kyle Orton's on my fantasy team. He looks good, but you're absolutely right, Bull Giants. Tim Tebow, Wildcat. Woo! Both New York teams will win. And then finally, upset pick of the week. Uh, awesome idea. Mike sent us in. Uh, it's been fun each week to try to pick a team. Jackal, who do you think is going to pick? Uh, I think Tampa's going to beat the Saints. The Saints right now look like shit without Reggie Bush. They, quickly, quickly. 30 seconds. They, they can't find out what to do with the offense. Can they run the ball? They can't. Can they pass the ball? No. Drew Brees is too worried about what should I name my second kid. Come on, Twitter tw 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 on, the, on the computer. Come on, fans. Name my kid. You should be paying attention to win the season, Breeze. I said 30 seconds and immediately forgot that the Jackal can't tell time. Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy. That's all you need. <laughs> Colt McCoy and the Browns, baby. That's my upset. And I will take the Dolphins over the Packers. Um, I think Dolphins come strong. AFC East is really good this year. And finally, let's end with a really fun story. Not fun for Lena Lawless, but fun for us. Uh, Leah Loss, of course, is a transgendered athlete. She was born a man. He, she. She was born a man. So and that would make her a mermaphrodite. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was born a, She was born a man. I'm going to get the story out eventually. Uh, and now she's trying to join the LPGA. She's a woman now. She has been for uh, a few years. And she won the long drive competition, the women's long drive competition, two years ago. Or, yeah, two years ago, 2008. And uh, the LBJ has said no. One of their bylaws is you have to be born a man. Uh, and the California courts might put an injunction on it, not let them have uh, the tournament there. So, do you think she should be able to compete with women on the LBJ, LPGA tour, even though she was born a man? No. 
I, I don't mind you, you know, you, you know, getting you all your works done down there, becoming a woman and everything. I'm all with that, fine. But no, you can't. You, you're gonna be stronger than these women, and that's that's like put, doing steroids. It's cheating. I'm sorry, it is. I feel bad for you because you don't have a lead. You know, maybe get some more of your little friends. And, uh, make up your own lead, but you can't. I'm sorry, sweetie. You can't. <laughs> she's sweet. Sorry. Uh, she's she's a good looking girl, right? Right, Jack. I thought she was wearing a Halloween costume uh, when I saw her. I literally screamed. I mm -hmm. uh, it was oh, I it was just terrible. But you know, you know, truth. I hate to do this, but once again, I have to agree with the jackal. Um, <laughs> I don't believe that it's steroids, but it's uh, pretty much putting a man's body on a woman's tea. You know, you put it's pretty much putting Tiger Woods on uh, the gold tea. So on a par four, <laughs> par five, he's hitting it there in one. He, yeah. she's in there one. <laughs> Everyone else is two heads, and he's one head. Listen, you guys won't find a uh, bigger advocate for LGBT rights than than uh, me, but. <laughs> LPT. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a it's a it's a clean sweep. She she can be playing with uh, the women. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I understand uh, that that's part of the pursuit of happiness for you, and uh, you might you probably feel like you have a right. Strength to doesn't win the men's game. You might kill yourself. Accuracy. But that's <laughs> Hit okay. the greens. Hit the greens. No, it's barrel. not. Oh my. If you're gonna kill yourself, use a razor. Lena, Lena, we're sorry. We're sorry. Um, but I don't know. Play with the men. Play with the men. That's all I can say. Beat the crap out of them. I'm sure right. you can. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so again, Terry, thanks for staying with us. That, that was time. a lot Thank of you. fun. Thank you. Um, we're gonna, great time. We're going to have a lot of special guests during this, uh, during this segment. It's a lot of fun. Um, so thanks. Thanks a lot. It was good insight. You're, you're really on top of your stuff. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll end the show uh, right after this. Welcome back to the Jack Roman Truth. The reason we created this show is because we believe what we say matters. Not we as in the Jackal and I, but we as in people, especially young people. It is why we strive to make this show entertaining, but also informative. This political season has shown us that certain people do not believe that what they say matters. That their publicly spoken words have ramifications. Whether it be Carl Paladino who calls gays disgusting or Bill O'Reilly, who purposely causes uproar by saying Muslims attacked us on 9-11, knowing full well that doing so offends 1.5 billion Muslims worldwide who practice their religion peacefully, not to mention offending at least one Jewish woman and one black woman. Or even Barack Obama, our supposed pillar of change, who vowed to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and then stands in the way when real action is taken to stop it. I will continue to point these things out. I will continue to say how I feel because this show matters. What we say matters. What you say matters. And finally, what we do matters, which is why I admire people like Terry, who try to do what he can to make this world a slightly better place in which to live, which is what we try to do every Saturday for a half hour at a time. Thanks for listening. Again, I want to thank Terry one more time for coming on the show, for being our first official guest. Uh, again, if you can donate, we'll put up all the information after the show. Uh, anything you can spare will go towards a really good cause, um, towards his bike ride across America for cancer. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I think that's it for the show. What did you just throw over there? Your mother. <laughs> we'll try to do better next time. See you next week. This ain't coming from no prophet I'm just an ordinary man But when I close my eyes I see The way this world shall me When we're okay Thank you.